Hi, this is Dave Tim with Mills Fleet Farm and Hold Your Arms, and soon the Mills Indoor Shooting and Archery Center. The new Indoor Shooting and Archery Center will be located in Baxter, Minnesota, on the corner of Highway 371 and Highway 210, right in the main area of Baxter and the Brainerd Lakes area. What we're doing today is we're doing a test of this masonry wall right here. This wall is going to be the core structure of the Indoor Shooting and Archery Center, particularly on the firearms range. Now what this wall serves to do is not only be the foundation for the walls and the structure of the building, but as well as be part of our bullet containment system in case a round were to hit the wall. So what this is, is it's cinder block filled with a combination of sand and P-Rock as well as cement. So basically what we have is a solid cement wall that is filled from bottom to top and it, as well as has rebar reinforcement. This is a very, very solid wall that is the core of that bullet containment system. On top of the wall, it's also going to be 3 8 inch thick AR 500 grade steel. That's going to be affixed to the wall as shown except for in much larger quantities. On top of the steel is going to be a material called DuraPanel. And as you can see here, it's a slightly flexible material that's also designed to absorb bullets, ammunition, you know, fragments, things like that. And that's going to be affixed something like this. Now, what we're here today to do is test the structural integrity of this wall. And what better way to do that than to send some rounds here. So we're going to shoot a variety of rounds ranging from simple handgun rounds all the way up to high powered rifle. Now for safety purposes we're going to be at least 100 yards back. We want to make sure there's no shrapnel fragments or anything like that that's going to bounce back. But what we want to do is actually test this wall without DuraPanel and without steel to see how much this wall can take. So we have a couple different walls that we're going to be testing. We're going to be shooting all sorts of things up to a 7mm, 300 Win Mag, 223, 556, a couple handgun rounds, shotguns, slugs, you name it. We uh, try to bring a variety of things to give this a good workout. Now, it should be known that if we kept shooting at a wall with thousands and thousands and thousands of rounds, of course, eventually you'll get it to fail. Now, ideally our walls are not going to be backstops of our range, so it's not really a realistic test. To, we know that you can get this to fail. If you shot this with enough high impact rounds, eventually you could get a failure point. And we're not trying to necessarily reach that, but we're trying to test the integrity under realistic situations. So, and in reality, uh, a little bit over than realistic because this is not gonna be a primary target area. So our tests today are gonna be, number one, for informational purposes, so we can gather that. And then number two, we wanna also make sure that our quality assurance in this facility is high. We're not building a low-end facility, we're building, building a state-of-the-art facility that's gonna offer a high-end training competition as well as a premier target shooting facility, and we wanna make sure we have the best available. So please uh, keep watching and let's see how the test goes. Our first test is gonna be with handgun. Now there are a lot of different cartridges and there's a lot of different arguments over which handgun is the best or caliber is the best. But according to Dirty Harry, he really likes the 44 Magnum, so that's what we're going to start with. Dan, our range manager, is going to be shooting the wall on the right with his Ruger Super Red Hawk and 44 Magnum, and Stuart is going to be shooting the wall on the left with his Desert Eagle 44. We just got done shooting the 44 Magnum. And this is a pretty powerful handgun round, and uh, we were able to recover one of the actual bullets from the wall. It's kind of uh, surrounded by some concrete, but the walls did a great job. I mean, from the front, you can see definitely a lot of evidence of the rounds that the wall absorbed. What we're looking at right here is a 44 Magnum round that you can see is even on the joint. So even the joint of the wall, where the bricks come together, is incredibly solid and, and uh, structurally strong. As you can see, there's uh, several different crater marks. There's a couple of areas that have more than one round, and the wall did a perfect job of absorbing in the energy and not letting a, a round pass through. But just to verify that, let's swing around to the backside. There is no 
indication of a round passing through at all. Not even any uh, deformation, no cracks, no stress fractures, anything like that. The uh, back of the walls are 100% perfectly intact. Now that we've got the handgun test out of the way with the 44 Magnum, we're going to start shooting several different rifle calibers. We're going to start with our Holdra x 2 which is shooting the Hornaday 223 55 grain soft point round. Our next test is going to be with a RPK chambered in 762 by 39. As you can see on both walls, on the back side, no signs of any deformation, uh, cracks. Stress fractures, nothing. It's uh, doing great. This is after the 762 by 39. Next on the test is going to be our 30 caliber rifle rounds. First, we're going to have Marty, our assistant range manager. He's going to be shooting a 308. And our second 30 caliber rifle test is going to be the 300 Winchester Magnum. This particular load is 180 grain soft point. Our last rifle test today, Stuart's going to be shooting the 416 Remington Magnum. This is an elephant round, so a very, very powerful round. Let's see what it can do to the wall. These shots here are the 300, those shots over there are the 308, and then these are the 416. And you can see there's a lot of damage. These high uh, magnum rounds definitely put a nice crater in. All right, let's go around to the backside and take a look. Nothing. No crater marks, no cracks, no fractures, nothing. Even after shooting the 308, the 300, and the 416, wall's perfect. All right, again, here's the 308, 416, and the 300. And absolutely nothing and here's a couple of 300 rounds stacked right on top of each other virtually and you know it's loosened some material but still nothing went through and the wall is structurally uh, still intact doing what it's supposed to do and it should be noted there are some voids in here this wall was kind of purposely built with uh, small voids and pockets just to see what if just in case there was a small error or mistake made if the wall would still hold and it's it's doing perfectly so all right, we're ready to perform our last test, which is gonna be on both walls with 12 gauge shotgun slugs. Now we're using three different types of slugs. All of them are one ounce. We have Remington rifled slug. We have a Federal tactical slug, as well as the newer style tactical low recoil slug from Federal as well. In conclusion, we shot several different types of rounds at these walls. Shot a 44 handgun, we shot several different types of rifle, all the way from a 223 up to a 416 Magnum. Again, that's an elephant round. That's an incredibly powerful rifle round, as well as some shotgun slugs. Several different types of ammunition, a lot of different deformations, dense craters, some small cracks on the, on the front side, but both walls held 100% perfect. Again, one of them with a combination of sand and one of them with a combination of P-Rock fill. And if you look on the back side, both walls are absolutely 100% perfect. 
So if this was a, a simulated range exercise, not one of these stray rounds would have left the range. And on top of that, we again would normally have the 3 8 inch AR500 grade steel and the Dura panel on top of that. So these walls, being the core of that ballistic retention system, absolutely passed the test and did their job and uh, performed 100% with flying colors. Well, that was eight fully loaded mags through our Hulder Mark IV 545 carbine. And that is after we completed our entire torture test from 44 Magnum all the way up to 416 Magnum. And what makes that impressive is, is that those eight fully loaded magazines were loaded with Russian military surplus ammo that had the steel core penetrator. By doing that, we have went over and above with our integrity test, again, after we had shot the wall numerous times with the numerous other rounds, now we've peppered it with the 545 Russian mil surplus ammo that has a steel penetrator. Let's go take a look just to make sure that our over and above test was as successful as our normal test. Well, this is our bonus footage right here, but anyways, we shot this uh, wall and this wall with everything from a 444 mag to a 416 magnum, and all the damage is surface. Uh, we have achieved the ballistic containment that we were looking for for this portion of our bullet containment system. The, the nice thing is, is that uh, as many rounds as we put on uh, this concrete block today, uh, we had absolutely nothing even get close to the backside of this wall or that wall. Well, here's the backside of one of our walls. The front side looks pretty messy. Not a crack, not a scratch. We have achieved complete ballistic containment. And again, this is only one part of our total bullet containment system for Mills Indoor Shooting and Archery Center.